so I'm doing research for my next video, which is comparing biodigesters to septic tanks. And then I came across this article on the web. It's about a story that first appeared in the Daily Graphic about the need to ban septic tanks and have them replaced with biodigesters. I thought that I could just share it with you briefly in this video and then just get to know your mind. I also want to tell you what I think, my opinion on this particular article. This is Dreamhouse Biodigester. If you are new to this channel, subscribe for videos that explains how these biodegradable waste biodigesters are helping homeowners have a new lease of life in terms of your toilet waste management issue. We are also on Instagram at Dreamhouse Biodigesters. Go and follow us and see some of our posts. So I'm going to go and add article. From the beginning, it says, the use of biodigesters is the surest way to prevent human waste and untreated water from contaminating water bodies. And in some instances, these untreated human excreta collected from our homes and toilet facilities end up in water bodies through open dumping. The article goes on to say that research conducted by the UNICEF indicates that 76% of households in Ghana drink water that's contaminated with fecal matter. The vice president of the Biogas Association of Ghana, that's the BAG, Daniel Osei Bonsu, has urged the government to consider banning the use of septic tanks and adopting biodigesters, which is more environmentally friendly. There's a quote actually, so I'm going to give you the quote. We want biodigesters to be installed in place of septic tanks in all homes and toilet facilities because of the enormous benefits that could be generated from it aside from helping to keep the country clean because of the waste end up the waste ends up in water bodies mr daniel osebosu told daily graphic in an interview the article goes on to say that a number of state and private owned waste management companies have treated waste plants that recycle human waste into fertilizer among others however the increasing rate of human excreta generated in our homes has become challenge considering the inadequate treatment plans across the various regions in the country. He also addressed the benefits of biodigesters. The association has commenced training for some 80 corporate members to help solve the unemployment challenges and has asked for support from the government. Okay, so as an installer and somebody who is interested in promoting biodigesters as an alternative means of toilet waste water management, I wouldn't say I welcome this call. I mean, it has long been coming for the past six years since biodigesters started taking over waste management systems in Ghana. Obviously, the impact has been great. Homeowners have all seen the importance of having this biodigesters. So in my next video, I'm going to try to compare the two. That's um, septic tanks as, in, as compared to biodigesters which one is good for your house or which one I think you should consider. I'm going to be fair in the video and I'm going to weigh all the size and I'm going to give you a fair understanding of how both of them work and coming to 2020 and beyond what you should be considering when it comes to waste water management. But looking at the article as I've read, I don't, I wouldn't want to support the call. I think it's, it's premature. Septic tanks are equally doing a good job in Ghana. Most homeowners who have used it will also tell you that if the ground in which you are installing the septic tank is good and then the soak away, that goes with it, it's working well, you, it might take you years before it has to be dislodged. Probably that's the only disadvantage, the dislodging aspect when it comes to it and the cost and amount involved in it. And the fact that probably you need a, a big land, a big size space to have it done. In this area of economizing land space um, and probably that's where the problem is but we are all living in a, a free economy all you need to do is to promote your product and give the advantages and give the features that will work for a homeowner and let the homeowner decide in their own terms the system or the technology they will want to use in my honest opinion i think it's not the right call i might be wrong but looking at the kind of economy we are running in ghana it's a free market economy and people are, have the free will to decide and do their own research and choose what they think will work for them well. All we have to do is to promote our product 
and then let the public know about advantages or the features that we think will help and serve them well and then leave it to them to choose or make their free choice septic tanks have got advantages of course they do have and i've used some before i mean i mean that's what we all grew up using so i know some of the advantages of using a septic tank and the disadvantages the only good thing is probably there's something better now which makes sense when biodigesters are mentioned in this same line but to call for a total ban of septic tanks i wouldn't support i don't think it's the right call the only thing that i say is that there are certain situations you cannot use septic tank for if somebody can also argue there are certain situations you cannot use bio digesters for leave a comment and let me know what you think about this story is it in the right order and what's your experience with bio digesters or using bio digester and using a septic tank what is your experience let me know in the comment section below